we are preparing to run the SP100 automation instrument. First, let's take you toward the major instrument components. The instrument power button is located on the front, left side of the instrument. There are three additional units that need to be powered on. The computer that powers the SEER instrument control software, or ICS, the MPE power unit, and the chiller powered unit. The ICS touchscreen is used for self-guided operation of the SP100. It is attached to the instrument via an adjustable arm for ease of use and is glove compatible. The work deck contains the major hardware components. The work deck includes a heater shaker, which is used for incubation and continuous mixing of the sample prep plate. The work deck also includes the magnetic plate, which is used for purification and peptide transfer from nanoparticles. The monitored multi-flow positive pressure evaporative extraction, or MPE module, is also located on the work deck. The MPE module uses positive pressure to wash, filter, and elute peptides. The chiller unit stores enzymes and reagents on the work deck. The gantry is controlled by the ICS. The gantry moves the core head and independent 8-channel pipette heads during method operation. The work deck includes movable carriers for loading labware onto the SP100. There are two tube carriers, plate carrier A, reservoir carrier, plate carrier B, and tip carrier C. The autoload tray is in front of the SP100 and has tracks to guide the carriers as they are moved in and out of the instrument. Slide blocks guide the carriers along the tracks as they move between the work deck and the autoload tray. Stop hooks secure the carriers when they are on the autoload tray. A barcode reader scans the barcode labels on plates, reservoirs, and tubes prior to running the method to ensure that the work deck is set up properly. Finally, tips used by the gantry are disposed of in the waste bin. We reviewed the major instrument components. Next, we will initialize the SP100.